This video will be about this software defined radio that I picked up on eBay. It has a radio with a screen, it's touch screen, it has a knob, and then there's other videos online that talk about this, but I just wanted to go through the how to actually operate this. So I picked this radio up, and the first thing that happened is when you turn it on, it went to this. It went to a zero in frequency, and I wasn't able to pick anything up, and it sounded odd like this. Just turn the volume up here on you for you. So I just got like this CW and I was like, how do I get it out of CW mode? Cause it booted it up into CW mode. The trick of this radio is actually pressing this knob here. What you do is you press in this knob. Now this knob doesn't press it in all the time, but I press it a couple times and it gets jammed in and it actually doesn't press uh, on it. So I take the knob off all the time. This one just come off real easy. Mainly you control it with this. Now it does have the stylus, which is like, it has the picture and the ad and all that. The stylus really does not work very great. Let me just turn on, I'll show you. So the stylist, it was very frustrating. It's like, I was tapping the screen and it, was, it wasn't doing anything. There we go, there, I got the frequency. So I can say like um, 14, whoop, I gotta delete that. 1400, we'll just say 14 megahertz. All right, there I am, and now how do I move it? It just pauses the screen, but it doesn't move it. So it's like, how do I do this? So this thing here, it, it changes the uh, set on volume speaker right now. So you just simply press it in. As you press it in, you turn it, and you just turn the options. As you see, I'm going through the options here for the frequency and for the um, for the headphones. For this, first thing, I'm gonna put it to I'm put it top to AM. So switch that to AM because I just want to listen to some shortwave radio frequencies, and I'm just tuning turning the knob with it pressed in. Here. Actually, I will. Uh, there's something there. It's not coming in very good. Here's a, here's a stronger. Oh, and that's like. So there. I just pressed it in. Zeroed in on that 1385. Yeah, I just got to turn that down for a minute. So that's how you tune it. You just got to press this button in. Now mine, I take this knob off all the time, probably gonna eventually lose it because when I press it, it works for a bit, but then eventually it will, I feel it getting tighter, tighter in here. Oh, see, it's let off as I pressed it. See, I was changing the LCD uh, display. Let me bring that uh, LCD up a bit so you can see it on camera a little bit better. Not too much, but enough to, so you guys can see it. And you can see the um, the waterfall and all that. So the main thing is, <laughs> you can use a stylus to enter in the frequency, but I just find it's easier just to like press in here and just go like if I want to go to say listen to CB for example, I'm gonna go 27, and then go maybe here and see if there's anything. Well, going too high, go down and see if there's anything coming up on the CB. And if you want to go tune in the frequency, you just press in and turn. So it's like press in and turn. There's not a whole lot of buttons, options on this. But I, at first I was like, how the heck do I use this thing just to tune in a frequency to see if I, my antenna is working properly, right? So that's how you do it. Uh, just basically press in, turn, and switch through your options here. You have your speaker, earphone, your, AC, your AM, ACC, and your all those options. There's a ton of videos of this on YouTube. Just wanted to show you how to get this thing working. If you bought it, open, unbox it like how I did, and you're like, how the heck do I operate this thing? How do I just tune it to, to a shortwave radio frequency or a CB frequency or whatever? So that's how you do that. Please watch this video in its entirety and give this video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and share this content with, on your social media with all your friends. If this content has blessed you, please consider supporting my work by making a small donation to my Patreon or to my PayPal or on YouTube to donate to help support my video work.